Adise Baba Fairy Tales and Bedtime Stories for Kids. Once upon a time, there lived a king who had 12 beautiful daughters. These 12 princesses lived all together in a big beautiful room. The king protected his daughters with his heart. And when they went to bed at night time, he did not allow them to go out. But every morning, they would wake up to something very strange. The shoes of the princesses would all be worn out as if they had danced all night long. The king had to buy his daughters new shoes every day. But the following days after, the shoes just kept wearing out. Neither the king nor his men in the castle could solve the mystery of the shoes. How is this even possible? How can a pair of shoes worn out like that in just one night? Your Highness, we can't understand. Finally, the king said, Whoever solves the mystery of my daughter's shoes will get to marry whichever daughter of mine he chooses, become my son-in-law, and get to be the king when I pass away. But he has three days and three nights to solve it. Otherwise, he will spend his life in prison. Many young men in the kingdom and even princes from other kingdoms came to the castle for the job. For days they guarded the door of the twelve princesses' bedroom. But after some time, none of them could solve the mystery. And shoes continued to wear out by the night. Finally, a good-hearted young man also wanted to give it a shot. And so he made his way to the castle. On his way, he met a lanky old lady who looked very poor. My dear child, I'm very hungry. Would you be kind enough to give me a piece of bread? The young man gave all the food he had in his bag to the old lady. She was very happy because the previous men who had passed didn't give anything. The old woman knew that this one was different than the others. So, in return, she gave him a magic cape. Take this magic cape. When you wear it, you will be invisible. When it strikes 12 o'clock at night, put the cape on, be invisible, and get in the princess's room. This way you can solve the mystery of the shoes. But be aware, do not drink what the princesses give you. No, oh, those nasty princesses. <laughs> the young man took the magic cape and went to the castle. And when he arrived, he said that he was there to solve the mystery of the shoes. First day, when he was keeping guard in front of the princess's room, the oldest princess came out with a glass of lemonade. You must be thirsty. We have prepared some lemonade for you. Please, have some. The young man forgot about the old lady's warning and drank it. Soon after, he was very sleepy. He fell asleep, snoring all night in the room that they had prepared for him. When it was morning, the young man stood up in a panic. I was supposed to wear the magic cape and get in the princess's room. On the second night, the young man once again kept guard in front of the princess's room. This time, another princess came out with a glass of juice in her hand. The young man was so thirsty while keeping guard and waiting for the nightfall. Without thinking, he drank all the juice that had been given to him. And of course, dozed off once again. The next morning when he woke up, he finally remembered the old lady's words. But be aware, do not drink what the princesses give you. 
There must be a sleeping pill in the drinks the princesses give me. At that moment, the king came next to him. Two days have gone by and you still haven't solved the mystery of the shoes. If you cannot do it today, you will end up in prison and stay there for the rest of your life. The king finished his talk and went away. The young man had to solve this mystery today. That night, for the last time, the young man kept guard in front of the princess's door. This time, the youngest princess came out with an orange juice in her hand. But the young man was aware now. He took the glass, thanking the princess. And when the princess left, he poured the orange juice in a pot next to him. This time round, he was standing tall. The night fell and soon it was midnight. The young man put his cape on and at that moment became invisible. Slowly he opened the door and could not believe what he was seeing. All of the princesses were wearing their most beautiful ball gowns, hair and makeup done with their very new shoes. Let's see if the young man at the door has fallen asleep. One of the princesses opened the door and looked outside. And another princess put her ear on the wall. At that moment, the young man knew that he had to make some snoring noises. <laughs> the oldest princess pushed her bed aside and clapped her hands three times. A secret passage opened in the place of the bed. The young man could not believe his eyes. One by one, all the princesses walked inside. And of course, the young man followed. The secret passage was opening to a stairway which had hundreds of steps going down. When they were going down the stairs, at one point, the young man accidentally stepped on one of the princess's skirts. Oh, somebody stepped on my skirt. Oh, nonsense. It was probably you. When the stairs had finished, they came into a forest. They went past tall trees with beautiful silver branches. The young man took a branch and kept following the princesses. After another long walk, they stopped on the edge of a river. In the river, there were 12 boats in the shape of swans. And in them, there were 12 princes waiting for the princesses. They got on the boats and the young man got on the last one. The boat seems heavier than usual today, as if another person is on it. Strange. Oh, come on, stop dreaming. When they crossed the river, they came across a big shiny castle, and they could hear music coming from inside. When he looked through the window, the young man saw many people dancing. As soon as they entered the castle, the princesses started to dance. They would never get tired and just kept on dancing. Of course, their shoes started to wear out. The young man could not bear his hunger anymore. So he took a slice of cake on the table and started to eat. The youngest princess saw this. Hey, my cake! My cake is floating as if someone invisible is eating it! Come on, stop it with this nonsense. The young man took a golden cup from the table without anyone noticing. The princesses danced till the morning. Then they got on the boats, crossed the river, walked through the forest, walked up the very long staircase, and finally they came back to their castle. But their shoes were all worn out once again. The young man was very happy that he had finally solved the mystery of the worn out shoes. A while later, the king came next to the young man. Your time is up today. Did you solve the mystery of the shoes? Yes, your highness, I did. And so he told him everything. The king didn't believe him at first. But when the young man showed him the silver branch from the forest and the golden cup from the shining castle, the king knew he was telling the truth. 
And so he kept his promise and granted him the right to marry whichever princess he chose. The young man said that he wanted to marry the youngest one. The twelve dancing princesses were clearly not happy because their secret was out now. But the young man and the youngest princess got married and lived happily ever after. If Snow White wouldn't have eaten the apple the old lady had given her, if Cinderella would have forgotten about midnight and kept on dancing with the prince, if the little mermaid wouldn't have rescued the prince from the sinking ship, and if Hansel and Gretel would have not entered the cake house, or if the little red riding hood wouldn't have told the wolf where she was going. None of these fairy tales would have existed. They took us to exciting adventures on magical lands we have never seen. They raced against evil sometimes, and sometimes it was against time. They showed us the true meaning of passion, love, friendship, helpfulness, sharing, and being a family. We cried together. We laugh together, but in the end, we always learn something. Full of the most beloved and beautiful fairy tales, Addis Ababa Children's Classics Channel is on YouTube.